What the? What is it? Quick break turned into a. Eh, I don't really feel like it. And oh, for what I'm doing again. All right, looking for those bandits. I bet I was right the first time. I bet they're at that fucking campsite and I just didn't look around it good enough. Or wait till the appropriate time. If I go there at night, they'll probably be there sleeping. Go up there and maybe wait till dark. Oh, hello. I was right. This is the damn campsite that I looked at earlier. if I can hit them from this far. Alert them. So it was you. Well, I never. The pig turns up willingly for the slaughter. To arms! Get over here! Raise the alarm! Watch out! You're dead! Alarm! Fuck! Not such a great shooting, huh? Alright, I can take all and just throw it on my horse.
guess now that they're dead, it's safe to sleep here and recover from that fight. I perform pretty shittily. Man, that bow and arrow is hard to get a hang of. them to leave me some food. Run into something and get thrown off this fucker. Almost see. I bear good tidings. Already? They're out of the way. I ran into them on my travels. Really? That's great, but... What? I didn't really just run into them. Afraid to go back to the farm. I, I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about it all. I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. Just try, and you'll see whether they drive you away or not. But if you explain it to them, they're sure to understand. I suppose you're right. Didn't really Thank you for your help. Go back and forth. God bless you. So I had to go there anyways to report. Fast travel there. or something. I guess it's just a general look around at what the area has. Got me a new fast travel point, so that's good. Not after I turn in this quest.
Eventually all these plants I grab will matter. Alchemy. deigns to grace us with his presence. I was looking for that boy and... And you didn't bother telling anyone. I had to follow the trail before it went cold. And what if some bandit skewered you and left you for dead? We'd never find you because you told no one where you were going. How would I explain that to Sir Radzig, eh? I really don't know, my lord. He disappeared without saying a word to anyone. Never crossed my mind he wanted to get himself killed. I... I... Silence! Keep your ignorant mouth shut when I'm giving you the benefit of a veteran's wisdom. You do what I tell you, answer only when I ask, and not go roaming off whenever you feel like it. I'd like a kick your ass back to the castle and be shut of you. But it's true, you're a fucking peasant who knows nothing about soldiering, and it's my job to whip you into shape, so I'm not done with you yet. God have mercy on you if you ever try anything like that again. If you're lucky, I'll only From have you whipped and clapped in the stocks. Because if I get my way, you'll be hanged for desertion. I hope we've got that out of the way. I've made myself absolutely clear. And now, let's hear what you have to report. I, I'm really bugged by them using the wrong form of your in the writing there. There's been times where the writing hasn't matched up with what's said, but... Uh, yeah, that was... Improper homophone usage. Looks like this game needs I an editor. I talked to Ginger and found out what happened. Out with it then. Ginger fled because he recognized one of the raiders. He was afraid they'd come back to silence him. Well, he was right. They were asking about him. So who did he recognize? He didn't know his name. Dead, oh shit. Some fellow with a limp from Ujits. <sighs> All right. Since you've gone this far, you may as well ask around in Ujits. We have enough to do here in these parts anyway. Sir Radzik will tell you about it. He said to send you to him if you haven't already been. Okay. Come, boss. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Wanted to talk to me. My lord. I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. Whole story. One of the Neuhoff stable boys, a, a lad they called Ginger, fled from there and hid out with some charcoal burners. I have to say, there's a lot of them around. I never thought how many forges and ironworks they have to supply. That's true, oh, yeah, that's but keep to the oh, point. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. I had quite a job finding him. He was well hidden and with good reason. The bandits wanted to kill him because he recognised one of them. Did he tell you what happened? He said it wasn't one gang, but two. And one of them took fright when the slaughter started. Seems they were only interested in loot, so they quarrelled with the other lot. Then it came to a skirmish in the woods and one of them was killed. And the rest of them scattered. And did you find out where they went? All I know is one of them is from Ujits. I know enough about him to be able to track him down. All right, but those cutthroats must know who he is too, right? And if they want to get revenge on him or silence him, you'd better hope they don't get to him before you. So drop everything and get on his trail. Find out what he knows and then report back to me. I'm going to our encampment at Mauhaya to oversee the security of the region. Yes, sir. I will get right on it after I do other things. Why choose Mauhaya? It's somewhat at the center of events, isn't it? And what's more, there's another stud farm there. Sir, do you think they're going to try the same thing again? I shouldn't think so. Everyone will be on the alert now, but the secluded dwellings are more vulnerable. There are few people in them. They're scattered everywhere and we can't guard them all. But the bandits won't find much silver in places like that. There's always a groschen or two, some food and so on. Anyway, how much silver did they get from slaughtering those horses? True. If they'd stolen them, they could have sold them. Those were fine animals. Exactly. Work. It's not about the silver. It's about something else. But what? 
creating fear. So it's great terror that you won't even squeak when they come to cut your throat. Never mind raise your hand against them. Fear that will root you to the spot, staring like a rabbit entranced by a stoat, waiting for the death blow to fall. Helpless to do anything about it. Also cripples your mobility. I have some news about the investigation, sir. Horses are kind of a tactical important thing. The trail leads to Ujits. I found out one of the bandits is from there, a fellow they call Limpy Lubos. When did I, I learn that? What else? That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and report to me as soon as you learn anything new. When did I learn the name Limpy Lubosh? That... I, did I just, like, uh, ex machina that? Hey, watch it. I'll, you. I'll slaughter the lot of you. You guys look unarmed. Hey! Wait till morning. Ha! I guess you don't get to keep a whole deer stolen horses. Didn't magically become mine.
Seems like a safe enough place to test that out. I think I can take three unarmed villagers. I wonder if it's because I'm overweight. Running to go grab a guard. Running away because they're scared. Move them down. I guess they're just running away from me, considering how you going randomly. Come to see us. Oh, just coincidence.
Probably not the smartest place to hang around. I want to see what's up at the tavern. The old whore. You waiting for someone? Not anymore, young man. I was waiting for you. You look like a clever sort of fellow, and chivalrous, too. You wouldn't leave a damsel in distress, would you? Why? Do you know of one somewhere? Now, now, handsome. Don't be mean. I've got a job to offer you. There's an old granddad sitting in the alehouse there. Yesterday he made use of my services, and he said he'd pay me in the morning. Only now he pretends he doesn't know me. I want you to take the groschen he owes me from his purse and bring them to me. And what do I get out of it? I'll give you a half of what you get off him. It ain't a lot, but it's more than I've seen for quite a while. I'm on it. I'll be back with the coin before you know it. My respects to you. How's trade? Any trouble around these parts? Nothing we can't handle. Would you have a job for me? Maybe you're in need of some supplies? Hmm. Fresh meat? No problem. I can go to Ratai and buy some for you. I could send the stable boy for that. I'm talking about game. Game? But that's near impossible to buy. I'd have to hunt it myself. And that's against the law. <laughs> ah. Of course. I'll pay you well for anything you bring me. Even more if it's something in particular I want. And if you help me out here and there, I'll teach you something useful in return. Tank of the bale for that's me. an interesting proposition. Are you after some meat? Certainly. I'm expecting a traveling merchant who loves venison from roe deer. I'll be mighty grateful if you brought me some fresh stuff. Got it for you right here. Good day to you. I'm hungry. I'd like a bite of can you tell me who I can buy something from or sell to? You want Votava, the fellow that fixes the weir at the Townberg fish pond. He should be around the granary somewhere. Belly ache, have you? That's nasty. Probably the target.
106. Like I right, question of everyone can see me, right? Got answered pretty quickly there. What is it? Fast travel back home and get my lockpicks. I need to do some quest thing there involving Teresa anyways. Romancer. Money. I want your money. I'm not taking their ears now. I guess I do need a dagger for that. I guess the ones I got before were just a glitch or something like that. I'm pretty close to this quest objective. I'll just go there, sell stuff to them, and uh, up my inventory. <clears throat> I can't move for shit, my horse still can, so that's good. Respects to you. Miller Peshek from Ratai sent me with this ring for you. A ring? Here it is. Useless fucking bauble. You must be Henry, right? Peshek told me about you. What the? Why did you throw it away? 
Do you know how much trouble I had to get it? Peshek said it was important to you. Like I said, it's a piece of junk. It was just a test to see if you've got the balls to work for the miller. It's a custom of ours, testing fledglings in the trade with a nice little wild goose chase. We need to see if you'll be hobbled by pointless principles, or if you're willing to use your head. Congratulations. You passed the test, and now we'll have a few jobs for you. What am I to do with these things I pilfer? No one will buy stolen goods from me. Buying and selling stolen goods is a crime. But if they're worth something, I can make sure they're... Uh, properly cared for. Not that I'd buy them from you, but I could uh, store them for you. And you'll get some coin for taking care of them before. So if someone loses something and I happen to find it, I can bring it to you to store and I'll get Groshen for it. That's the arrangement. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. <laughs> Oh, I was like, it's not selling because of that, it's selling because of... I finished that quest, duh. Hold my shit off the horse. Ooh, no, no, I wanted to move to inventory. I wanted to loot all. I thought I had more uh, stolen stuff. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right, let's. I'm done with that game. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. Alright. Sorry and shit. Let's see what we can do about that. Uh, sometimes Twitch doesn't change games when you tell it to change the game, so... Moment. Oh, I don't know. Lose place of what I was doing. Not so good at remembering the things. I don't know why that got unequipped. Oh no, not self. Oh, because I was walking around with the torch, maybe?
Oh, he doesn't have enough. Buy something too, like this. Let's have a word about the price. Well, we can try it. What about this? We're getting there. Just drop the price a bit more. I'll go for that. Even after selling all that, still overweight. I'm just a little bit. One of the four hides is stolen. It's just highlighted. I make sure I have the stolen stuff sold. Oh, right. Gotta ask that dude about jobs. Do you need help with anything? Just in time. There is a certain matter I need resolving. I have some scores to settle with the commander of the Talmberg Guard, and I want to get my own back. You may have heard that Sir Robard of Talmberg is a stickler for having all his gear neat and tidy. The commander of the guard? Sir Robard? I'm already confused. Just tell me what I need to do. It's like this. I want you to break into the Talmberg armory and steal a few Waffen rocks with the coat of arms on them. Ah, and once Sir Robard finds some of his guardsmen's equipment is missing... 
He'll see to the commander of the guard, who's the only one with keys and answerable for their safekeeping. When Robard finds out he's losing things from under his nose, he'll have him whipped. And I'll get what I'm after. Satisfaction. Take at least five Waffen rocks to make it a proper stink. Consider it done. What am I to do with the Waffen rocks once I have them? I'll burn them to get rid of the evidence. Just make sure you don't get caught. Hey. I'd like you to teach me how to be better at stealth. Certainly. Five by now, maybe? I'm interested in more advanced techniques. Wouldn't you rather learn the basics first? I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? Agree? Well now, a little more and we'll shake on it. All right, I see. Agree. Agree. Now Two listen points. up. He has more money for buying stuff now. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. Be cool if he did. Let's talk about the price. Sure, why not? Actually, since I just saved, it's a perfect time for a break. I'm gonna do that instead. Fix my Twitch while I'm at it. Sorry about that. 